Hello out there, I'm Marcel, back again with The Pulse. Today, I'm gonna offer a special message, an invitation of sorts to Dr. David Sinclair. David Sinclair, we'd like you to press the reset button. We'd like you to come and join the movement, a movement to promote natural ingredients that have shown signs in providing health benefits to aging adults. Uh, you can play a very special role with this, and I'm going to tell you how. And why would we do that? Why would we claim victory on NMN as a supplement, as remaining a supplement, and then right after invite David Sinclair to join our supplement movement? Well, it kind of goes without saying that David Sinclair has played a significant role in the awareness of things like NMN, but also other natural ingredients and other research that has shown positive impacts for aging adults. Things like exercise, diet, changing these habits uh, provide extensive benefits to people, and people in this community have experienced it, and we're grateful. Most of us are grateful, that is, for the information that David Sinclair has provided. The fact of the matter is the FDA is about to go through major changes. The leadership will have dramatic turnover from where it's been the past few years. And David Sinclair has allies at the FDA that are about to be gone from the FDA. And I propose that he be open-minded about this new future, this new FDA, that I very much expect to prioritize natural ingredients, maybe not over drugs, but have a more equal footing, a equal place at the table, allowing for ingredients to walk in both worlds, as Dr. Fabricant has stated in the past. We need to make sure that natural ingredients are safe, that they're hopefully affordable, that there is sufficient health information provided to the public of their potential benefits and any potential side effects, and that natural ingredients are prioritized over acute illness treatment, specifically only pharmaceutical drugs, to treat these acute illnesses. In other words, treat the system before you have to treat the symptoms. David Sinclair himself has described this as whack-a-mole medicine and how it very much needs to change. Now he has the opportunity, we all have the opportunity to have a voice in the reshaping of healthcare, self-care in the United States and probably beyond, probably around the world, because these things have reverberations around the world, he can play a significant role. As it's been said many times, prevention is the best cure. And that's the promise of healthy ingredients, healthy living. And what about David Sinclair's bad chapter with the FDA, where frankly he lectured us as to how the FDA operates. This is just the FDA and how it works, taking no responsibility for the moves taken by Metro Biotech to manipulate their contacts at the FDA, their influence at the FDA, as being part of the pharmaceutical industry, playing the game as it were. I think it's time for us to chalk this up as a bad chapter, as yes, he was playing the game as the rules were laid in place at the time. Now that the rules are about to change, it's time to change strategy. It's a new day in DC. It's clearly a new day. There are going to be dramatic changes, not only at the FDA, but throughout government. But if we don't step up and have a voice now, we risk not seeing an outcome that is desirable for people who are proponents of self-care. I also propose that David Seclair to start this transition towards partnering with the supplement industry is to join us on a Zoom call, join some leaders. I'm happy to help move that along to get him involved in a Zoom call with the supplement industry. I think it would be very enlightening. I think it would be very healthy. There are people who harbor a lot of bitterness from having to sue the FDA over some of his actions recently. And I think it could start the healing process. Guys, there needs to be dialogue. David Sinclair can play, as I've said, and I've explained how, a dramatic role in helping to reshape oversight of this critically important health industry, the supplement industry. So join us on a Zoom call. I may or may not be a party to that Zoom call. It's not necessary that I inject myself that far into this process, but I'd like to help move things along toward that end. When you really think about it, where we're at today 
is partly a culmination of the work that David Sinclair has done for the past decades. He's helped bring us to this point in time, and it only makes sense for him to adjust the direction of the decisions he's making towards the direction of the prevailing winds. Here's another case in point. There are two people that I know who have stated we can save trillions of dollars off the federal budget by making changes. Two people have said it that I'm aware of, David Sinclair and Elon Musk. Imagine these two working together to do just that by providing proper nutrition and health advice to citizens, by not only making supplements easier to get for people who need them and who can benefit from them, but also more safe, more information about how much they should be taking. I mean, this is critical information that we're just not getting the answers to yet. People are sort of navigating this in a trial and error method like myself. We need to know exactly who should be taking what and how much and how often. And that's just one example how David Sinclair and his research can provide answers to people. Look, I'm just a citizen like most of you. I ran into a wall. I was having horrible health experiences just throughout my body and throughout my life. The experiences that I was going through were almost too much to bear at 55 years old. In just a few weeks, I'm going to turn 60. And I do owe my turnaround in large part to David Sinclair, his research, and his public speaking. His ability to deliver a message that helped people like me and millions of people around the world. I've thought long and hard about this day. Where are we going to be when NMN wins in court, which it just has? Where are we going to be when we get the opportunity? What are we going to do when we get the opportunity to reshape the FDA? I've talked about reshaping the FDA for two years, and now we're here that quickly. Many people said it would never happen in our lifetime. I heard that from people in the industry. You'll never get anywhere with this campaign, Marcel. You'll never change the status quo. You'll never change the government's approach to supplements. Yet now we have the opportunity. It's amazing when you think about it. And yes, I think not only Dr. Sinclair, but other scientists need to play a role. Is there a risk that they'll steer things, steer the ship back to where it was or back towards where it was to their own benefit? Certainly there is that risk, but I see it just as I saw NMN when I started to take NMN as a risk versus reward scenario and the reward possibilities of having the scientific community backing our endeavors with the supplement industry, it could lead to an incredibly positive result impacting millions of people. And I see that potential too promising to ignore. So I hope not only David Sinclair joins us in this effort, but other people and other scientists around the world as we get this message out. I look forward to speaking with you, Dr. Sinclair. I hope, for example, that you will join me on The Pulse and speak to our viewers here. But most important of all, I hope you will join the supplement industry officially in some capacity going forward to help us improve the lives of aging adults everywhere. I look forward to your response. Thanks to everyone for watching.